and welcome to the Cozy Meadow Knits podcast. This is episode 28. My name is Sophie and I am coming to you from the province of New Brunswick, which is located on the east coast of Canada, where I live with my husband and our two children. Uh, We have a daughter who is 14 and our son is 12 and I am a knitter. Uh, This is a space where I share all my knitting adventures. I am by far not an expert knitter, but I do want to knit all the things. And this is just a space where I share my recent makes, my current whips, and all the dream knitting. And um, yeah, so you are most welcome. Uh, If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I am really honored that you choose to spend some time with me when there are thousands and thousands of wonderful podcasts out there. I'm truly honored that you're taking time to spend with me and I'm so happy to be here with you. Um, You can find me on Ravelry as Cozy Meadow Knits and on Instagram as well, Cozy Meadow Knits. And I also have an email, everything that I will talk about and where you can find me, um, any patterns, yarn dyers, makers, all the things will be linked down below this video. And if I forget anything, please let me know and um, I will gladly answer. Um, Okay, so that's pretty much the intro. Let's get into it. Uh, I have... A few finished objects Um, one finished object one half finished object I have a couple of whips to share and uh, yeah before I start on that I do have winner announcements on um, some giveaways that I did on past episodes and I finally have the winners and I'm going to share them right right now and so if you are a winner you will know right away. Um, So the first winner, I'm just looking for my stuff that's all over the place over here. Okay, sorry about that. Um, The first winner, this was a skein of yarn that I was gifting away uh, a couple episodes back in fall and uh, the winner did not contact me so I drew another winner and the winner for that skein of yarn is I will pop up a picture here but I can say it as well Um, it's Darcy Spies 828 so Darcy congratulations if you can send me an email and with your mailing address um, I will gladly ship that off to you Um, and the other two winners Actually, there are three other winners. Uh, not the last episode, last uh, the episode before that, I had some mittens, some yarn for the Coastal Drift mittens and some patterns to gift away. That was kindly donated by the designer, Manon Drole. And um, I will show you the yarn, which is right here. Um, uh, I have the yarn which was a skein of Sunday and a skein of Tinsel Mohair by Sadness Garn, both. And this will make a pair of Coastal Drift Mittens. And the winner of the pattern and the yarn is Nicole Romeo Juliet 1624. I will put up your um, winner picture here. And if you, congratulations, if you can contact me again, send me an email and with your mailing address and I will send that off to you. And I had two patterns to gift away as well. And um, I will show again, both winners here. And um, if you can both send me a, an email again, and I will send you the codes. I'm not sure how to do that with Ravelry, but anyways, we'll figure it out if I can get your contact information and I will send them off to you. Congratulations to all. And yeah, so let's get on with the knitting talk. I can start with what I am wearing, which is not a newly finished object. This is a sweater that I, finished I think two years ago 
It's one of my earlier sweaters, but I love it dearly. And I'm not even sure if I wore it on an episode. I can't remember. Anyway, but um, I do not have a finished garment for this episode. So I thought I would put it on. Um, it is called the Tender Sweater by Melody Huffman, which is also known by B Mandarins. Um, and yeah, it's a really lovely sweater. I will stand up and show you. And I'm going to gently push back my chair and just show you the detail. It is a bottom-up sweater. It is a DK weight um, sweater and it's knit bottom up. This was and is my only bottom up sweater that I've ever made. And it's, it's, it's lovely. I actually really, really love the sweater. I love you start from the bottom and then you knit up in this texture with pearl bumps and then you knit in around and then you separate for the front and the back and then you join, I think this was a three needle bind off that you join the shoulder, then you pick up for the sleeves. And it's really, really, it's a great sweater. I highly recommend it. I'll show you the back. And as for the yarn, I'm just gonna pull that chair, sorry. Okay. Yes, so as for the yarn, I do not remember. <laughs> And I didn't put it in my Ravelry page. So sorry. I'm almost certain that it's Estelle Merino Yak or Merino Alpaca. I'm not sure. And I think that yarn is also discontinued. So, but anyway, I can tell you it's a DK weight yarn pattern and I really love it. And so yeah, so you finish up the sleeves and then I think you pick up again for the neckband. And that's all I remember about the sweater, but I, I wear it all the time. And that is what I am wearing. Um, so I have a finished object. I will start with these two. And they are socks. This is going to be a sock heavy episode because yeah, socks happen I guess sometimes. <laughs> I'm not a huge sock knitter but this was a couple of weeks of socks. So these are my first finished object. I have two. Oops. As you can see one of them doesn't have the ends woven in. I just finished the pair last night and blocked them and I have the ends woven in on this one. So these are the Nord socks. They are DK weight and it is a brand new pattern that will be coming out in a few days by Nancy Wheeler, who is also known as Knit Sip Happy. And I, this is a test knit. I've tested this pattern for her. And as soon as she said that she had a DK weight sock coming out, I knew I wanted to test it because DK weight socks are squishy and they are very, very fast to knit up. So this is the one that has the ends woven in. Um, as you can see, the main color is by Ginger Snap. It's by Ginger Snap. I have the ball band right here and it is called Ocean. It's on Squishy DK and it's a 75-25 Merino nylon and it is 100 grams. So I got this uh, I got this last summer I think and so I knew I had it in stash and I was really happy to pick it up and knit the sock with it. Um, so in the pattern, you can do whatever you want for your contrast. If you don't have to do contrast, you can do it all in a solid cutter, color. But I did the largest size, which I think it was 52 stitches. And so for that size, I just wasn't sure if I was going to run out of yarn. And I do not like to play yarn chicken. So I picked up this, these are leftovers. Um, 
that I had in my stash. It is Leo and Roxy Basics and it's in the color Raspberry. And it's, I thought it was perfect because there's these little flecks of kind of pink that goes really well with this color. And yeah, so it's a lovely, it's, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Um, I'm going to take it off the blocker so that I can show you the pattern on the front of the sock. And so it's really, really, really cute. And it's super easy to do as well. So there's a pattern that goes up all the way in front of the sock. And there's also some patterning at the back of the sock as well, but this is just a little slip stitch detail. It's very, very cute. And of course, it's a slip stitch heel flap and gusset, which is what I like best. It's a top down sock and it's just really, and these are just really fun to do. I knit these with um, the magic loop method and they are, I guess, little types of cable, but I did not need a cable needle. So I did it all with just magic loop. And this is my pair of, my new pair of Nancy socks. I have, I have, I haven't tested all of her, um, her patterns because I'm a horrible tester. <laughs> I'm so slow. I'm a quick knitter, but I always have so many projects on the needles and I want to knit on all of them at the same time and that is not possible but anyway when I do when I do say yes to a test knit and when I do say no to a test knit or I don't you know like I don't go and uh, volunteer for a test knit it's just because I'm I'm just really slow and I'm always very last minute and yeah but I am so happy that I have these now for my feet and this yarn is super squishy the um, it's so soft to the ginger snap so I highly recommend this pattern when it comes out again it's going to be in a couple of days she's going to be sharing a bunch of stuff on Instagram and I think she's recording to two as well today and she's going to talk about them and I will share on Instagram as well um, when the pattern is out so when it is get your pattern because it's a really really fun one and super quick to knit okay well done Nancy again so good uh, okay so that's my finished object I have a half finished object and it's another sock <laughs> this one I am in love with as well I love it so much I'm just putting it on the sock blocker right now and there you go it has to be shown off because I love it so much <laughs> okay so this is the Hermione's everyday sock pattern which is a free pattern I will link it down below this is my first this pair of socks on Ravelry there's I think there's almost like 20,000 projects like this maybe I'm way off on that <laughs> don't quote me on that but I know there are tons and tons of projects. So this has been knit quite a few times by other people. This was my first time. And I don't know if you can see that texture, but it's just so good. It's so good. Okay, where do I start? I love it so much. <laughs> uh, okay, so I knit these socks because these are an entry for the make along that Danelle from Novel Knits, uh, she has a podcast and I will link her down below. Um, she has a knit along where you can pick a skein of yarn that is book themed or has something to do with books or a pattern that has to do with something with books or 
or and read a book at the same time not it doesn't have you don't have to read the book while you're knitting but you know just post the book that you are reading at least start reading and um, yeah so all of the information for her uh, Mal is on her last video which I will link down below and yeah so when I saw that I was like that's, that's perfect this is really great because I had purchased no I was gifted I was gifted this yarn actually by yarn indulgences and when I saw it it's just amazing and the yarn is called library perfect right I've talked about this before on the last episode so I'm not gonna go into too many details but this yarn is so good it's on her oh, what is it called it's, it's called um, the base is splendid sock and I'm pretty sure it's 75 25 uh, nylon and merino she has a few skeins on her website I've already looked at it up and this color is not available but she has she has some colors and there's already one I, I want another I want another skein of this because the colors are gorgeous also the drape on I know you don't need drape maybe on your socks but just knitting on it knitting with it it was just and I'm not just saying that because this yarn was gifted I'm I want to purchase a skein of yarn now of this because it's just so so good okay so let's talk about the pattern um, the pattern is very very simple all it is is knits and pearls so you knit I don't even know I don't even remember how it is like I yeah you knit around and then on the next round you do knits and pearls and then you knit another round and then the next round after that it's knits and pearls again and it just does this gorgeous fabric it is so squishy and this yarn working up with this yarn I don't know it was just so enjoyable and I pulled up I pulled up these two colors these were in my stash um, the first one the purple one <laughs> The purple one is from Magpie Fibers, and this is from Sweet Skein of Mine. I will link them down below. It, they were just mini skeins that I've had. Um, so yeah, so if you see, this is how, and stockinette also, I can show you how the yarn knits up, which is very beautiful, just like that. But then when you get, this is the difference you get with the texture. It's so cool. Anyway, so I have, all of the details on my project page how I did these colors um, this is just a one by one rib and um, I cast on and knit one row with the purple then I think I knit two or three I don't even know it's in my project notes this is the main color and then I switch to the contrast and then another contrast there was a lot of ends to weave in yes i admit it but with that it's I, I just love the effect and it was totally worth it so i knit the cuff and then after i finished the cuff i already knew i had a lot of ends so i went and i wove them in right away then continue on, on with the sock and that really helped um i did i have markers here i just have them on the top uh i knit so I put these at every 10 rows. Um, this is totally stolen from um, a tip from the Crazy Sock Lady. And uh, she always does it. And it's, it's really, um, it helps you keep track of how many rounds you do. So then when I'm gonna do the, next, the second sock, I will know how many. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six. So these is 60 rounds and then I did a, it's, it has instructions for a partridge heel flap and gusset and this is just slip stitches it's not complicated at all and it's so pretty this is the first time I'm doing that so again you just alternate your slips and knits on each row 
that's in the pattern and then I used Nancy's rounded toe which I find um, from Nancy Wheeler's uh, previous patterns I have a lot of them so I always do her rounded toe and that's a hair sorry <laughs> yeah so I'm in love with these that's all I'm gonna say about these uh, I lie the last thing I'm gonna say about these is that I love this color so much because it reminded me of a game I used to play on anyways I, I used to play this game it's called Castlevania it's a video game and this reminded me of that and then this color was just perfect when I was looking for contrast colors so I'm gonna pop a picture up of the actual game like this is a screenshot of the game and in the game like this screenshot is in the library right I know it's ridiculous so love it Hermione's Everyday Sock, try it. It is a free pattern and the it's delicious. Anyway, can you tell that I'm really excited about that one? Yes. Okay, that was the second sock. What else do I have? I have another sock. <laughs> and I am melting, Whew, it is hot in here. All right, these are another whip that I started since the last time I recorded and these are a gift knit oops that's one of the ends um, these are the maritime wool socks by sand and sky creations um, the designer's name is Simone hi Simone um, she actually works at fleece and harmony in PEI and uh, I got to talk to her um, in December when I went over for a visit, a very quick visit. Anyway, I have knit these before. So this is a free pattern on Ravelry by Simone and uh, it is a men's sock. Uh, I've knit these, I've knit a pair for my husband for Christmas last year. And I am knitting two more pairs this time as gifts to um, a couple of guys, a couple of fathers that are on my son's hockey team. Um, one of the fathers, uh, he, uh, he volunteers a whole bunch and he helps out. And um, anyway, he totally appreciates knitting. And this is why I'm knitting him also a pair of socks every time he sees me knitting and I go to the hockey games we go to the tournaments and I am knitting constantly I'm the weird one in the group I don't care what they think um, and they're very supportive um, all the parents are they think they get a kick out of it anyways because I watch the games and sometimes I even knit while the games are going anyway I get a lot of knitting done <laughs> during the games anyway so every time I knit he sees me knitting he's always saying oh my grandmother used to knit those are the best socks there's just they're just amazing and he asks me like what am I doing and how am I he's like so intrigued by it anyway so I've decided to knit him a pair of socks and I talked to his wife and she said that she gave me his foot size which hopefully I can gauge they're not he's not the same size as my husband so I don't know we're gonna hopefully it works out and um, I am knitting these out of Briggs and Little yarn this is very affordable yarn this skein is six dollars and it's full of my hair I'm so sorry uh, yeah so six dollar skein this is 100 per no it's not I it's not a hundred percent wool it's 80 percent pure wool and 20 percent nylon it is very rustic but it's very very warm uh, yarn uh, it is called Briggs and Little Tuffy um, it's used a whole lot anyway and it holds up very well um, and this is from New Brunswick so it's very local to me too so I am the main part of the sock is in this color 
I don't even know if it has a color. It's color numbers and it's the number 88. Oh, it's called oatmeal. It was right on the tag. It's called oatmeal and I have the contrast color that I'm using is what I had left from my previous project for my husband's socks. So all of the details, how many rounds I made and how, yeah, how many rounds I made with the contrast color. Everything is in my project page. And yeah, so I'm gonna be knitting a couple of pair of these. Yeah, yeah. I know, I'm nice, right? <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't knit these for anyone that wouldn't appreciate them and the two fathers that are gonna go, they definitely will appreciate. I've told their wives and they're like, oh my God, they're gonna love them. So I am happy to gift them. Uh, okay, so that's not my last whip. I have another whip. I'm looking at the time, I gotta go get my daughter. I am not rushing through. Um, I This is the last thing that I have to share as knitting wise. But yeah, I have to make sure that I'm not late in going to go get my daughter. She's at work. Okay, so my last project is housed in this <laughs> gore. Yes, it's a new bag. I know I'm so so bad I'm addicted to bags but I love it and this bag is huge like this is a huge bag and which is what I was looking for I was looking for a big bag I have a fall big bag that I've been lugging around and I absolutely adore it but it has pumpkins on it so I wanted a spring and summer big bag for my garments and I found it it's I found it on Etsy. She does not have an Instagram account. I don't think, I couldn't find her, but this is her card. And they are, it's Creation, Creations Agnes. And um, she's in Quebec. And I will link down her Etsy shop. And she has a couple of bags. I always, she always updates her, her site. Pretty much weekly I think anyway and I I've been keeping an eye on it and when this when this fabric came out I was like yes that's exactly what I was looking for um, she had free shipping on this as well and it's a fairly it's a really large bag there's pockets inside it's lined and there are pockets inside here I'm not doing a very good job and um, there's a couple of these cloth clasps that I can put some yarn through or even just put some uh, stitch markers and there's two handles and also a drawstring anyway I highly recommend it um, if you're looking for a big bag it does I think it has interfacing but it's not like it's not very, I will say it's a little bit kind of, it'll fold on itself, but to me that's fine. I just wanted to say that, but for me that's fine. I can even fold it down, kind of, and do kind of like a bucket. Anyway, I really like it. And I thought I would mention, it is housing my Cinnabar sweater. And I'm just gonna show it quickly. I talked about it on my last episode and I do have some progress on it. Can you tell? Can you tell I have a favorite color? <laughs> I don't care, it's my favorite color. So this is the Cinnabar. The last time that I showed it was I had just slit for sleeves and I have knit a little bit more. So I did some more progress on it. So far so good, it fits. It is a pattern by Maven Crafted. I will put her down here. My project page will be linked down below. The yarn that I am using is Fleece and Harmony and I love it so, so much. It is Selkirk Worsted 
weight yarn. It is 100% wool. It is so soft and the color is delicious because it's called blueberry preserves, which in my mind looks like a smushed blueberry. Exactly. <laughs> so this, this is it. So this is the cinnabar. I won't go into many more details because I have talked about it before, but this is where I'm at. So I have not stopped working on this one. I did put, I do have the Zwig, 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 sorry. Uh, I have that sweater as well. I'm not going to show it because there is no progress on it. I just knit a few rounds. I just picked it up again yesterday because I had a whole lot of socks coming into my life. <laughs> so I have picked it up again and yes, I, next episode I will have more to show on that one for sure because it is awesome. Yes, it is definitely not hibernating. I'm going back to it. But yeah, so that is all my knitting talk for today. I do have some acquisitions. Um, yeah, so I can go through that a little bit. Um, the first one that I will show is this gorgeous, I will stand up again, it's this gorgeous necklace that I have. This was a complete treat, but it was my birthday last week and I am so in love with it. This is a knitter's necklace and I don't know how I can show you too. So I'm gonna show it even closer. So. This is a knitter's necklace. It is a necklace by Jeanette Walker. She is in PEI and she was at the Fiber Fest last, um, last fall. And I, her stuff is absolutely gorgeous. She does custom work. Um, she has also things on her website. She will be linked down below. Um, yeah, you can even bring in um, some older jewelry and she can you can work with her and come up with something with some designs and stuff. All of the information is on her website and she had these knitters necklace. Nancy got one and Mana got one. That's my friend um, from La Violette Knits. And yeah, I felt left out, but when I went and looked it's just absolutely perfect. Um, so I will take it off. I'm going to talk about it very quickly, but it's on a delicate chain, but sturdy, but very pretty chain. It's very lightweight. And then, so it is called a necklace. Yes, it's called a, knitter, a knitter's necklace. That is hard to say because this clasp this is actually a clasp you can you can't even see it but it is a clasp and you can take it off and these are stitch markers and so these are freshwater pearls and the little burgundy is a garnet so i asked jeanette this was actually on her website and it had a different stone on it and it was an amber stone, I think. And this is my birthstone, granite, uh, not granite, garnet, granite, <laughs> garnet. And um, I sent her a message asking if there was any way she could switch it out. If not, I was going to purchase it anyways, because I still loved the amber look, but I thought, you know, why not? Why not ask to see if she can put it in my color and in my birthstone and she could and I am so so happy with it so I thought I would share that it is amazing it is amazing so I'm not gonna put it back on because I'm not gonna put on the clasp again for right now but uh, that was the first acquisition and the bag was another one I know but it was my birthday um, so what else? This is 
from yarn indulgences again. So we, oh yeah, I have to talk about that too. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have so much to say. And it's only been three weeks, so I'm really trying to get these episodes more together, not as spaced out. Um, okay, so before I talk about the yarn, before, we will talk about an event that myself, Nancy from Knits and Happy, uh, Manon from um, La Violette Knits, as well as Deborah from Yarn Indulgences, we are hosting a winter gathering in Sussex, New Brunswick. Um, that's going to be on February 9th and 10th um, in Sussex. And we, yeah, this has just, it just happened. We have been talking about getting a little gathering of knitters together for a weekend for a little bit. But yeah, it just bloomed and we just picked a date. And um, in February, we're just praying to the weather gods that there is no snow or no bad weather so that everybody can come down. And um, yeah, so we're hosting a gathering. We are staying at the All Seasons Inn. I think that's right. Anyway, all of the details is on the website. I would say our website, I, I, I don't know, it sounds so, I don't know, professional, <laughs> but we actually have a website, Deborah created it, and um, all of the details are on there. Um, we will all be there. There will be a mini market as well on Saturday. Um, all the hours, um, the registry, you can go and register. Um, if you want to come and join, if you are around, if you want to join just for Saturday, that's great. We are staying over um, Friday night and Saturday night. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. There are so many knitters that I have only met once. There are so many knitters and makers that I have not met yet and just talked on either on comments on YouTube or on Instagram. Anyway, I'm just really excited for that weekend. It is very informal, very. It's gonna be really laid back. We just wanna go and have some time to chat, to craft. Um, they're, you, they're spinning. If you wanna spin, bring your spinner. Your, I, I'm not a spinner, so. <laughs> Uh, bring your wheel, your spinner, bring your wheel or whatever you can bring. Um, you can crochet, you can, anyway, everyone is welcome. Um, yeah, so we were talking, we met a few times, um, all four of us to talk about the details on, you know, how we're going to do this winter gathering. Um, and yeah, so during our meeting, Deborah said that she had been dyeing up some new yarn. Um, well, maybe new colors. I think she already had this base before, but she gifted me these and I couldn't say no. And Deborah, I'm not sure if you're watching, but I've already told it. I already told you, but I love you. <laughs> and I am so honored to have these. And I wanted to show them off because these, I want you to think about it. So think about summer knitting. I know, I know we're only January, but I'm already thinking about a few summer knits that I want. And this is the silk and linen base. And when she said that she had these colors, no, that she had this base, she said linen and I'm like, um, no. I do not like the feel of linen. I know I'm so unpopular in that. A lot of people love knitting with or having garments made out of linen. Um, I've seen a linen yarn before. I felt it and it's very stiff. To me, I can't do it. I can't, it doesn't interest me at all to knit with that, but, but having linen during the summer 
is very airy and it's not warm at all like it's very breathable material and it's very cool on you and it's a perfect summer a perfect summer material let's say so that's why I've never knit with linen but this base is silk and linen so it's 70% I think I'm saying that right I have a ball pen here no nope, I was not right it is 65% silk and 35% linen and I am not lying this is the ball band I'm not lying you can see it <laughs> and uh, so yeah the feel of this and the shine the sheen there is a sheen on it which is from the silk and it is so soft and it's look it's like mold you know like it's pliable okay if you've knit with linen before there are some that have a little bit of linen linen and some have a lot and it's very stiff feels like you would knit with straw almost um, and that's why I did not want that but this yes it's very anyway it's very soft and it's beautiful she has tons of colors already up on her website and I just wanted to mention that I already have plans I think I think I'm going to make the plant lady tea I will post post a picture up in here and I think this color is going to be the plant lady um, this might change I always change my mind but I am looking at I think I think this might be it and then for this one I'm not sure yet but it's going to be a t-shirt as well these have a lot of yardage as well to it so two skeins would probably make a t-shirt for a lot of people so anyway I have these two colors it was an acquisition I absolutely adore it go check her website she'll be linked down below and that is all for acquisitions time okay I have five more minutes before I have to leave um, there are two things I guess I can show that I will have at the winter gathering I've been sewing a little bit I won't have many of these <laughs> right now I only have three um, but I do have some little pouches for note like notion pouches so I've been making these I've made a few more but they were prototypes <laughs> I have not perfected but kind of perfected kind of I say but yeah they're functional and they're super cute I have to say and they are fun to make when my sewing machine cooperates with me because <laughs> I'm not an expert sewer but they are all lined like these are the best ones so I will definitely have these three but they're all lined and they're cushiony because I put some um, in not interfacing but I put some well, I don't know felt between and then I kind of quilt it a little bit so yeah I will have these at least these three <laughs> I'm gonna try to make more but I don't know if I'll have time but I will also have some stitch markers and some um, progress keepers these I've been making these like for gifts a lot lately and they I find they're super cute and very functional I have I'll have different sizes and different styles but I won't have too many I have I have a plate full of them but yeah I'm not this I've never sold anything that I've made before so I am very self-conscious about it I feel that it has to be absolutely perfect for me to actually sell it so um, but yeah so I thought they were pretty cute and anyway I'll have some of these too so I've been crafting I've been pretty busy actually yeah so 
that is all my crafty and all that stuff, all that jazz. Um, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching and for sticking up with me. Um, what else I can say? For life stuff, I don't have much to report. We live a very boring life. <laughs> uh and i am so red i am so hot oh my god it's so hot here um life stuff yeah no i just work day job and then i come home and make supper and then clean and when i have a few minutes after i knit and that's pretty much it and we go to hockey games my son is in hockey so we go and, you know, run around at the arenas and uh, it's been a lot of games lately because um, they're trying to get all the games done before March and there's going to be a couple of tournaments actually. So the knitters retreat is, well it's not a retreat, it's a gathering, the winter gathering um, will be in two weekends and then the weekend after that we are in Fredericton for a hockey tournament yes and then in April we'll be in Nova Scotia in Halifax for hockey so it keeps us very busy and my daughter yep yeah, my daughter is going to try out for volleyball again so if she makes it we'll be busy with that too and so I knit as much as I can when I sit <laughs> so that's pretty much it um, I do have a recipe that I can share with you guys. Um, I made them, it's a cookie recipe. Um, I made them, I've made them before and I made them last weekend and they are delicious. I will link down the recipe below. Um, I found it on Pinterest. It is a oatmeal cookie with butterscotch chips. So good and a little bit a dash of cinnamon it is a perfect cookie for the afternoon to drink with your coffee or your tea so I will share that below um, and they freeze very well as well because I make one batch and I freeze half of it and then so that they stay fresh when we take them out um, but they do go very quickly so let me know if you make them um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your wonderful comments. Um, if you like this video, you can like and subscribe. Um, it'll help my episodes, my podcast to be out there more, like to be more visible to people. If not, that is okay. Um, I'm just happy that you're here and that I am here with you. I hope you are well. I hope you are relaxed. Um, I wish you lots of crafting and knitting time. And I hope to see you very soon. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. See ya.